Some very big developments in the case against Ghislaine Maxwell. This involving the sealing, unsealing of documents that was ordered by a judge yesterday who made that decision. However, there will be about a week in which Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers will be allowed to appeal. These documents involve a case and a deposition involving Virginia Gouffre. She's one of the most high profile victims, uh, alleged victims of Epstein and of Ghislaine Maxwell. She sued Ghislaine Maxwell in 2016. So there is a lot of documents within that deposition, which include some of which was, was leaked out by Alan Dershowitz. Mm. The the accusation against the former Israeli prime minister, Ayud Barak, many of the world's billionaires, you know, some of the most high profile, high profile people in business. Virginia Gouffre has a lot more information that she's been trying to get out into the public domain for quite some time. That is included within these documents, including people so-called John Doe's who are named within the suit. We don't know who they are. The documents also include Ghislaine Maxwell's actual deposition that was given in that case under oath with a lot of alleged, you know, bombshell admissions. And what's most important of all of this, Virginia Gouffre is also the woman, or she was a girl at the time, yeah. who was allegedly abused and uh, raped by Prince Andrew. So that is another element to all of this. Of course, Ghislaine Maxwell very likely asked about that during the deposition, right. her deep relationship with the royals. So one week from today, we could be bringing you some absolute bombshells included that within these documents. So here's what we know, some of the details about what may be in these documents. It's said to run hundreds of pages, um, should be made public in the week, includes flight logs from Epstein's jets, Deposition, like Sagar was just saying, from Maxwell back in 2016, that when she was asked potentially intrusive questions about her sex life, that's how it was characterized. Police reports from Palm Beach, Florida. Um, communications between Maxwell and Epstein from January 2015. That was when Virginia Gouffre initially made these allegations about them in court papers. So what was that communication like? Um, and in the papers, Gouffre claimed that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew. So we'll probably get more details there about what the allegations are. So some unbelievably bombshell Revelations could be coming here within yeah, the next right. week. Yeah, that's right. What I'm very focused on is the Andrew one, but also the business connections. Can't ever take our eye off that's of the right, business the of the Israeli prime minister, the former Israeli prime minister, Ehud Barak, many of these other hedge fund billionaires, as well as, as Wexner, who is the person who seems to have been the genesis for much of Jeffrey Epstein's wealth. He claims he never knew anything about Epstein's predilections. Sure, you know, I'd like to sell, you know, I'll sell him the London Bridge, if that's true. Um, well, and one of the reasons why, I mean, I feel like he always escapes scrutiny. I think partly he because he's he really just does. less of a famous name than, you know, Bill Clinton. And he's a multi-billionaire. So. Or, yeah. right, or like Donald Trump when he, <laughs> I wish her well, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, he was the one who sold Epstein, his New York City that's mansion, right. for way below market value. Weird. And remember, Interesting. Virginia Gouffre, according to that document that was released, has accused Wexner of sexually abusing her as well. So that could be a, another key part of the story. But the other key part of the story here is the cover-up. How did they get away with this for 35 plus years? Well, one of the ways is that powerful people helped cover up for them. And something very suspicious happened over the last week, and that is Andrew Schultz. He's a comedian. He's a uh, very nice guy. Um, you might recognize him from Instagram or from Joe Rogan's podcast. He has been doing these viral monologues on his Instagram page. Well, one of his viral takedowns of Jeffrey Epstein and of Ghislaine Maxwell was taken down from Facebook and Instagram for, quote, bullying and harassment. Now, Facebook has provided zero explanation as to why this was taken down. I spoke with Andrew and asked him, have they received any communication whatsoever regarding why this was taken down? Apparently, it had over one million views on the platform. Somebody riddle me this. How do you bully and harass somebody who is an alleged pedophile rapist for decades? That's what I want to know. How, how is it 
How is this to be seen as anything other than a cover-up and a cover for one of the most horrific people who might have ever lived? Well, and the crazy thing is, too, we've actually sort of praised Facebook here for having a lighter touch in right. terms of censorship yes. than, say, Twitter that has gone the other direction. So all the things that they let slide and this is the one that you take down, it does not make any well, sense whatsoever. Who's claiming bullying and harassment here? I have theory. I can't prove it. I think that Ghislaine's Maxwell's lawyers and many high powerful people who work for her are out there filing bullying and harassment yeah. claims against anybody like the me, like you, like Andrew Schultz and others who dare call them out. And we are I'm happy to give a platform to any concerns like this. And we are calling on Facebook for at the very least an explanation. But more importantly, that video needs to be reinstated on the platform. It exists currently on YouTube and I encourage everybody to go watch it, both because Andrew is hilarious and it's a great tag take. All right. And we will definitely keep you posted on what these new documents reveal when they come out. We'll have more rising for you after this.